Hi, this is BJ Toner with Toner Cable Cut. Today I'm going to review our Q-Link, which is a fiber optic interlink system for satellite antennas. The Q-Link, manufactured by RF Design in Germany, is built in a IP65 rated enclosure, which means the enclosure is dust tight and water resistant uh, from being sprayed with a hose. This allows you to install your fiber optic transmitters directly on your satellite antenna. It has a built-in power supply that has adjustments to increase the gain on the fiber optic transmitters. You can have from one to four fiber optic transmitters installed in the housing. These transmitters are 850 to 2450 megahertz. Uh, they're standard 3 dBm output at 1310 nanometers. Pretty much works with any L-band fiber optic receiver such as the Olsen or even the RF Design or other manufacturers that are out there. Uh, the transmitters have standard SC-APC fiber optic connectors for the optical connection. We have four RF input connections that are brought down through the IP65 housing so that you connect your LMB feeds on it. And then there's two power supply connections so that we have re full redundant power supply for the system in case one power source fails we don't lose our feeds from our satellite antenna. The power supply is designed so that it also supply power up to the LMB to power your LMBs as well as powering the four different transmitters. The Q-Link's available as I said previously with either one, two, three or four fiber transmitters installed we normally stock it with the four transmitters, but we can get it in any configuration you might need. The advantage of this is it gives you a very small, compact, weather-tight installation on the back of your antenna, and you don't have to piecemeal certain products together to get an enclosure that's going to be waterproof. This is ideal for use on uh, crews or military ships where it's installed inside a radome where you get a lot of condensation. On the outside of satellite TVRO antennas, uh, it could be on DSS satellite antennas where you've got a long distance to go with your feeds in the building, perhaps from the uh, 30th or 40th floor down to the basement. Uh, the housing has many brackets included with it that have U-bolts that allow you to bolt it to a round structure up to 2 inches on the back of the antenna or it has these flat plates that will also allow you to fix it to a wall or a flat surface. Uh, it's got a fiber optic input connection here in the center which feeds your half inch fiber optic cable in. We uh, supply with the enclosure field installable FCACP, I'm sorry, FCAPC fiber connectors. We have a splice holder and some fiber management we install in the housing. This allows you to do a field installation without the need for a fusion splicer. Obviously a fusion splicer would be the better way to go. Uh, if you pair this with the uh, Olsen fiber optic links and our toner TLRC4 chassis, that gives you a 1RU rack mount chassis, holds four fiber optic receivers, has a built-in power supply, and with the Q-Link it gives you a very cost-effective, secure, and efficient fiber optic link between your satellite antenna and your receive location. For any more information, please feel free to give us a call. Thanks very much.